everybody. I'm back with another layout. I'm using the Scraptastic Club I Lived kit and this is Susan's sketch that I made the layout with and it's for the sketchy Thursday blog post. And so this first bit I just um, slowed the video down so that you could see that I did the stitching on the background. So I dropped my feed dogs on my sewing machine and just kind of went around and around in a, you know, sort of really messy circles. And I just filled in some of the circles with some, uh, what did I use there, yellow thread. And so I really like the look of that. And so um, here I'm going to skip ahead a little bit because I went to use this trimmer to cut the paper where it extended off the background. And that trimmer just wasn't working because I had really distressed the, the top and bottom edges and my blade was catching. So I took the whole thing over to my guillotine trimmer and there was a huge gap with just, you know, the trimmer sitting there. <laughs> so I cut that out and all I did is trim the paper. So I'm getting my little distressed strips put on on the top and the bottom. And so I left more space on the top and than the bottom because I wanted to I wanted to add a navy strip as well at the top because I wanted more contrast, but I didn't necessarily want the top and the bottom to look, you know, matchy matchy. And so I, I've got all kinds of glue going on here. I'm having a little bit of trouble and I flipped it around because I almost put it on the wrong side. <laughs> I know I, I noticed at the last second I was I was thinking, why doesn't this want to fit there properly? And that was because I had it on the wrong side. So once I got that figured out, it went in easily. So this is the photo that I'm I'm scrapbooking here. It's a pretty boring photo, although I, I, I am pleased that I caught the steam coming up off the pancake and so this this layout is about how it's not actually about pancakes <laughs> it's about how when my when my husband is night shift I, I'll make him pancakes at least once that's set right because who wants to get up and have you know chicken and salad and I wouldn't want that when I first wake up. So I'll make them pancakes, right? We'll have breakfast for supper, which I really like anyway. And so I had said a while back, gosh, it, I just kind of said in passing, you know, gosh, it, it'd be nice to have a skillet so that, you know, I can make more than one pancake at a time. This, this one at a time is for the birds. And, you know, I just kept cooking and did my thing. And then... He ended up getting me getting me a skillet and he's really good that way he remembers stuff like that right and so that's what this layout is about how not necessarily just this skillet just that that he'll remember and he pays attention and I really appreciate that right and it just makes things a little easier for me so I really like that and so that's what this layout is about even though it looks like you know a really boring silly photo of a pancake with a well good old mason jar of course that's what I keep my pancake mix in I did a layout not long ago with the TLN kit about my love of mason jars and how I have everything under the sun in them in my kitchen and all over my house so anyway and then I followed the sketch pretty close except at the bottom I didn't put a photo that's where I'm going to put my journaling, but I, I didn't have it done here yet. And um, I'm really loving the thickers in this kit. They're a little bit smaller, and I, I really like this size of thicker. And I really like the, the color of them. And so I'm getting these, these enamel dots all over the place here. You won't have to watch me fight with them so hard. They go on pretty easily on this layout. Sometimes I fuss with them a lot. And so I'm just going to pull the page up so that you can take a look. And I've got I've got the sketch coming up again so that you can see it again after the page is complete. And that's it for this one. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.